Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today's video is gonna be about the Swan and Dolphin and a day at Magic Kingdom. As you can see in the background, I'm not at Magic Kingdom, I'm at Epcot. This will be in a different video, but I wanted to redo the intro to make it uh, make a little bit more sense. So yeah, we're gonna start the video off with our check-in at Swan and Dolphin. I'm gonna show you guys the room, show you a little bit of the property, and then we're gonna dive in to Magic Kingdom and have a fun day uh, with my dad. So yeah, me, you and I, Dive right in. And just like that, we're arriving to our destination, which is the Swan and Dolphin Resort here at Walt Disney World. We are staying in the Swan side. I've never been here before, so. I've never, well, I've never stayed here before. I've been to Swan and Dolphin. I've walked around the property, but I've never stayed here before. So this will be a treat. My dad and I are staying here. You've never been here either, huh? I've never been to any of these places. No, so I think the only hotel, well, no, you. the only hotels that you uh, have walked around are the Riviera, Pop Century. Oh, yeah, walk. And then what was the other one we, we saw? There was uh, something, uh, something else. The pirate one. The pirate one. I don't know what that one is. It's the pirate one, Oh, you mean the Caribbean Beach Resort? Yeah. The pirate one. <laughs> That's what it says on the website. But no, we booked to stay at Swan, so this will be fun. Yeah, let's head inside. It's not too hot today. It's really nice. They also finished up the hotel over there, too. I think it's uh, by the same. Because remember, this is not uh, owned by Disney. It's on Disney property. And Disney kind of like runs the show, but as far as the operator, isn't it Sheraton? So it's either Sheraton or Marriott. There, it's it, well, Sher Sher Sheraton and the Marriott. They're connected. Oh, okay. So yeah, they're like sister companies. So yeah, that's who operates this hotel. So yeah, let's head on in. By the way, if you're using the parking here, it's like thirty-two bucks a night. I would double check because the rates change all the time. So the parking fees, oh my goodness, my bag is going crazy. But the, <laughs> the parking rates are just like Las Vegas, they're crazy. Uh, so yeah, $32 a day, at least for today, for our stay, that is nightly. But if you don't have a car, then you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. You could always uh, rely on the transportation. Valet, valet oh, valet was what, 40, 40 something? $43 for a valet if you want to valet your car. I'm glad this hotel is bad robot approved. Now we're here a little early and our uh, hotel room is not uh, quite ready, but they can uh, hold your bags for you so you can go inside the parks and enjoy. They'll give you a little ticket so when you come back from the parks, they'll either have your stuff in the room ready for you or you can just pick it up at the desk. Of course, if you still need to do some Disney shopping, they have a gift shop available right at the front. Ooh, wow, look at this. I love the ceiling artwork there. Very pretty, and of course we have this beautiful fountain right in the center. All the swans walking down this hallway. If you just keep going straight from the lobby, the water taxis are over here as well. And the dolphin side of the resort is over here. It's out here, oh look, another gorgeous fountain. Here's the back side of swan side. Then when you turn around, yeah, look at that. I mean, again, the property is absolutely massive and they had the fountain and everything back on for a while. The fountain was turned off, but everything is working again. Here's where the water taxi is available. Remember, you cannot take this to Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom. This is only for Epcot and Hollywood Studios. You could also take the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios and Epcot, but there isn't a Skyliner station here, but the water taxi is a nice transportation option. They also have the buses available as well, but you have to take those to get to uh, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah, look at this. It is magnificent. How exciting, this is gonna be cool. I always love staying at hotels that I've never been to before. And I've always wanted to stay at this one because it's, again, it's just so grand. I feel like everyone that has been to Walt Disney World has seen this hotel at least once. Look at that, R2-D2's hanging out over here. I didn't know he, uh, likes the Swan and Dolphin. There's another restaurant in that corner called Fuel. Look at this, wow. All right, so we're actually staying on this side. 
I guess we got dolphin. So we're not on the swan side. Oh wow, this is pretty nice. Look how huge this is. Well, that works out. So yeah, we're gonna stay at dolphin side. Make sure to check your reservation because it'll say whether or not you booked dolphin or swan. As we were walking over here to the other side, my dad was like, oh wait, I think we booked dolphin. So sure enough, we booked dolphin. And this is the shuttle stop, by the way, for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. It's right outside the front uh, lobby where you pull in to check in. Long side here and boom. So yeah, we're just waiting for our bus. But now that everything's figured out, let's cut to the room and check that out. Here is a shot of the room at the dolphin side of Swan and Dolphin. It's the bathroom. Very nice. Hello. You have your body lotion right here. There's some more cups, trash can, plenty of towels, even a hair dryer. Nice sink. I like this. This is cool. I love the backsplash. That is also very nice. The floating mirror is always fun. And here is the turlet shower. Oh yeah. Is it a fake shower? Nope. That is... That's real tile, I like that. Also complimentary shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Of course, uh, Dasani water, unfortunately trash water, but hey, we'll take the trash water over no water. Coffee maker with some tea. Starbucks coffee available, nice. A little makeup mirror. What's down here, nothing? Oh, is this pull out? Nope, we got some tissues right there, we have some Nice fixtures and everything. Here's the bed set, two double beds in this particular room. Like that. Got a pizza. The pizza is not, does not come with the room, by the way. And I know it's dark out, so it's gonna be hard to tell, but this is our balcony. We're on the ninth floor. Oh yeah, look at this. Isn't that a gorgeous view? It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's the rest of the tower. And off in the distance, you can see right there, that is the Hollywood Tower Hotel, the Tower of Terror at Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's really nice. I'll try to get a shot during the day as well. And as promised, this is what it looks like during the day. Yeah, Hollywood Studios off in the distance there. Love the balconies here at Swan and Dolphin. But yeah, isn't this pretty neat? I think out of a... Uh... A lot of the properties that I've stayed here at Walt Disney World, this one reminds me of the Bay Lake Tower at Contemporary Resort, and yeah, you know, I like it. This part, this this is a nice room. I will I will definitely stay here again. But let's cut back to Magic Kingdom and enjoy the day. And it looks like we got monorail green today. Monorail lime, I think, is the correct uh, name for this monorail. And just like that, we've made it off the monorail into the front entrance of Magic Kingdom. Yeah, by the way, they're still celebrating the 50th anniversary, so you still have time to experience the fireworks show and all that fun stuff that goes along with that. But enough jibber jabbering, let's head inside the park. Made our way onto Main Street. They're, uh, they're testing the train, by the way. So that's nice to hear. It's been years since that thing has been running around Magic Kingdom. The glorious Christmas tree is up and all of the beautiful decorations. Oh yeah, the sound of that train is so nice to hear. Yeah, it's just been forever. And there she is, Cinderella Castle. Oh, hello, Mr. Disney. It's nice to be back at Magic Kingdom. It's been a while, because the last time I was out here in Florida, I wasn't able to get to Disney. But this time, no, we're changing it up. Now this is where you take some photos. Yeah, this is a good shot right here. They're also doing the Magical Friendship Fair show. The next one's at 2.05. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, skip that because you know what? I wanna go on Space Mountain. And Space Mountain is uh, probably one of the most intense roller coasters here. <laughs> so definitely wanna do that next. You know, the park is actually not that bad. I've seen this park a lot more crazy, right, Dad? It's been, we've been in here and it's been like insane. Yeah, this is, this is not that bad. So hopefully we'll luck out on Space Mountain's wait time. Yeah, the standby for Monsters Incorporated is only 20 minutes. And also, Tron, we just saw it fly on by. They were testing it. They're testing it pretty much every day because they're going to do that up until the grand opening. Oh, there it goes again. You see it? Oh, look. Yeah, when does that open, Dad? Uh, 2065. But something that is open is Space Mountain. Oh, yeah. This is like one of my favorite rides here at the park. It's because it's just so insane. It's like Matterhorn in the dark. Yeah, Dad, this is like one of your favorites too, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so gnarly. <laughs> watch out, watch your step, because we're going on an intergalactic adventure. Oh yeah, oh look, there's space. We've already made it to space. 
And Dad, did you know that Disney has a resort in outer space? Here's all the different flights. Thankfully ours is still on time. That's what you call a classic video. Look at that. I don't think they've updated that since the ride opened. Yeah, that's like, that's at least like the 80s or something. Early 80s. Yeah, like very early 80s. Yeah. It might even be from the 70s. <laughs> That's when this ride opened. I absolutely love this ride. It's so much fun. It's way different than the one at Disneyland. If you've never been on this one, I love it. I actually like this one a little bit better. Instead of lap bars, they're called gravity bars, see? Because we're in outer space. All right, we got rows five and six, but one thing my dad and I were talking about, you brought up a good point, dad. The gravity bar is not the, not the thing yeah, you got to be worried. who cares about the gravity bar? Once we hit space, you can't damn breathe. Yeah, you can't breathe in space. So you're dead. Dead. Oh, yeah, our chariot awaits. I think we nailed the photo pretty good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I think we did pretty good with the photo. I got to change my position next time. I forgot to lean back because, yeah, you were you were leaning back pretty good because we, yeah, we were going. We were through space. Yeah, I mean, we were going like. Three, speed. 300,000 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Next up for us, though, is the People Mover. Oh, yeah, we don't have it back at Disneyland. So, yeah, you always have to do it here at Magic Kingdom. I'm glad the trees are in bloom. And what's awesome is this is Dad's first time on the People Mover out here in Florida. Because you've never done this one. The last time you went on People Mover was back in uh, Disneyland when they had that back in the day. This was all closed up. Yeah, last time we were here at Magic Kingdom, this was uh, not open. So yeah, the fact that it's open today, we're taking advantage of it. And yeah, it was only like a five minute wait, so not too bad at all. All right, here we go, we're picking up speed. Hold on, Dad, hold on. This is the TTA, on, the on service for Ralph tomorrow. They just did some fireworks over there. I missed it. It's all good. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover. Greetings. by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see tomorrow. Heck yeah. And also in urban planning and star trails, transfer to green and red lines. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. This is where we're going to get a good view of Tron. Maybe we'll catch it testing. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two it's not even open. Oh yeah, there it goes. I'll probably catch another one. Yeah, we can go on uh, Autopia. I haven't been on that ride since I was probably years. Well, here it's actually called Tomorrowland Speedway. Attention all visitors from there she is though. There's all the Tron stuff. I wish it was open. I can't wait to ride it. Oh, there it goes. Take the time to see this show. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, our people mover journey has nearly come full point. Thanks for riding with us. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite part. Because now is the time. Now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow. The day. See you in the future. Continuing our journey out of Tomorrowland, and we're going to head towards Big Thunder Mountain Railroad next. Always got to stop and enjoy the the moat that's around the castle. The wait times haven't been that bad, so I, obviously we talked about Lightning Lane before, and I don't think I'm gonna purchase it uh, today because I just don't see the need to, especially when the park closes at 11 tonight. So be sure to check the park app for all the latest closing times because yeah, sometimes you won't even need Lightning Lane. It's not even necessary. Now, obviously if the park closes a little bit earlier on your uh, visit here and you are short on time, then by all means, go ahead and grab the Lightning Lane. But yeah, if you're here all day from open to close, especially on an 11 o'clock closing day, you're, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be able to ride just about everything you want to in one day. Oh, Dad, we gotta wait on the souvenirs, okay? Don't get any souvenirs just yet. Made it over here to Splash Mountain. Only got a few more uh, weeks left to enjoy this before it closes down to be transformed into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. 
Really excited to see what they add to the attraction. Been hearing rumors that we're gonna get some really nice animatronics, so fingers crossed. Only 45 minutes for Big Thunder, not too bad. Nice to see you again, Mr. Tony Baxter. I've always loved this view, it's so pretty. And for a while, all of these interactive elements were turned off, but they have them back on again. Gotta crank this to spin it faster and faster. Turning that wheel actually keeps the ride going. Oh man, so much fun on Big Thunder Mountain. That was a hoot and a holler for sure. I was like laughing so hard near the end there because my dad and I are just ridiculous on these rides. Oh, and we sat in the back. Back is the best seat in the house on Big Thunder. And it's funny, the Big Thunder Mountain out here is a little bumpy. Like adds to the, uh, to the crazy train aesthetic. Runaway train. Oh, there goes the Liberty Bell. We're just gonna take a little break from the attractions, grab something to eat real quick because yeah, we haven't eaten anything all day. And uh, since Pecos Bill is right here, why not? Our food has been obtained. It's pretty hectic and crazy in there, but we made it through. Shout out to the cast members that were helping everybody out and uh, getting the food out as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's, uh, let's dive right in and then move on to the next thing. I think we're gonna do Splash Mountain after this. Finished up with food and next up is gonna be Splash Mountain. This one closes very, very soon so you don't have that much time left to ride the uh, original ride before it gets renovated into Tiana's Bayou Adventure like I was saying earlier. I might be uh, out here one more time before it officially closes to do like one final ride on it before it gets its beautiful transformation. My dad, on the other hand, I think this will be your last time on the... <laughs> what are you looking at down there? Is there something over there? Yeah, little bugs. <laughs> Almost there. It's been about 45 minutes, so I'm thinking in total this uh, wait time is going to be about an hour. So it's still not as bad as the posted wait time, which was 80. Oh, my goodness, there were some fireworks. Look, there's some more. Slip and falls. Slip and falls. Oh, no. Goodness. Ah, oh, we made it, okay. Oh, well that effect's not working. Oh, we got a little wet on that one. <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, look at this, walking through Adventureland. Looks like they did something over at the castle. I thought I heard fireworks earlier, but it says on the app that the fireworks don't start until 8.15, so I'm wondering, maybe it was some other show? Or maybe they did fireworks early? And over here at the Jungle Cruise, it's now the Jingle Cruise for the season. So they have all the decorations and the palm trees, and of course the attraction's all decked out too. Magic Kingdom now has more alcoholic beverages available to purchase, and you can get some of them here at Skipper Canteen and throughout the park. They have a lot more cocktails and beer available than they have in years past. And of course we can't make a trip through Adventureland without saying hello to our good old friend Orange Bird. Had to make a little pit stop on the bridge. Right off of Main Street to enjoy this beautiful view of the castle. Still all decked out for the 50th anniversary, by the way. We're gonna head back towards Space Mountain because why not? We both really enjoy that ride and yeah, the wait time's actually not that bad right now. But as we were walking through the park, what I've been noticing is that they don't really have a lot of decorations up, which is kind of weird. I feel like they save a lot of it for the uh, Christmas party later on in the evening and it, yeah, I don't know. I wish they had more decorations. Oh, look at this, perfect timing. Just got off for the fireworks. Oh yeah. Yeah, my dad and I were just talking about that right now. Like, there's so many people waiting in front of the castle, which is a good spot, but there's like nobody over here. This, look at this. This is like a great view because they shoot them off like right here. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, this is like the, was this the frozen, frozen part of the show? I've actually never seen the show in the park before. 
Because last time I was here for uh, the 50th, yeah, we were outside the park. Oh my goodness! There's nobody over here. This is a great spot. <laughs> we're gonna make our way towards the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Coaster. And yeah, look, we're getting even closer to the fireworks. It's perfect. Yeah, you can just chill over here. There's nobody. There's nobody over here. Main Street was like a madhouse compared to over here by Tomorrowland Speedway. It's magical. Bam, and now that was our cue to go on the mine train ride. What'd you do? You did something. You're lighting it up. It's like magic. I think you gotta hit this one. No, it already did. Oh, there it goes. So some of them do things. How about this one? Nope, nothing. I think it's only that one. Yeah, because you can kind of see the mechanic. Oh, there we go. Oh, and look at this. They've turned the water feature back on. For a while, this was turned off, but it's like now you can interact with them. You see. Let's see if I can do anything. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's like a, it's supposed to be like a musical thing, I believe. All right, we finally made it to the station after that very long. That was that was a long wait. That was that was a little too long for the wait. So uh, it's the lightning lane. It just completely crushes the standby queue, unfortunately. And that's the problem with lightning lane. The, the ratio is so messed up that it's like an 80-20, not even an 80-20, probably a 90-10 split for for the lightning lane. But, that's horrible. Yeah. Dumb. But hey, we're here. We made it. Waiting. Six hours of waiting. <laughs> we did it. And this is why we were waiting for so long. That's the lightning lane. My goodness. That is insane. Yeah, the lightning lane is like longer than the actual queue. But the problem is, is they have to let in the lightning lane people first. And they don't even let the the normal queue people in. You just kind of stand there and wait. It needs to be more like uh, how Universal does it where it's a high price exclusive item and they cap how many people can purchase it in a day. So that way it doesn't really ruin the standby queue. So yeah, th that, that's the ratio they need to have here at, uh, at Disney. And I don't know, I mean, I know why they have it at the price they do because they want everyone to buy it, but I don't know. I, that business model is questionable. With that said though, we're still having a great time. We're still enjoying the moments, making the memories, and enjoying the attractions for sure. It's just, yeah, the lightning lane does just kind of destroy some of the attractions sometimes. I still don't, rec I, you know, I don't recommend buying it on days like this when the park is not really incredibly busy because really we got a lot done today and we arrived to the park a little bit later on in the afternoon. We didn't get here until like one o'clock in the afternoon and we were still able to hit up pretty much all the major e-ticket attractions. Oh, uh, look at that. The castle's all wrapped up like a Christmas present. Got some candy canes in there. That yeah, looks beautiful, especially with the, the giant lights in the back of it. But we are not done with Magic Kingdom just yet. We're gonna work our way down Main Street. We're not leaving this park without a nice tasty tree. We gotta get some candy. We gotta get something. Oh yes, we're taking all of this. Every single thing we see. Well, except for that. But we're taking all of this. Oh, look at this. They still have the Tutti Frutti lollipops available for the 50th anniversary. I would 10,000% eat every single bag of cotton candy on here. OMG, there's even more. Yeah, I forgot that they make the cotton candy in here. That's why it smells so delicious. Oh man. Can I just stick my head in there? I think I've made my selection. I'm getting the English toffee and I think my dad's getting the uh, milk chocolate covered pretzels there. Are you deciding on which, ba which bag to get? This bag. That one? Yeah. Are you sure? Five. Okay. 
Just, just making sure though. That one's still moving. That one's like possessed. It's possessed. So maybe you want that one. Hold on. <laughs> See, my dad taught me well. You eat dessert before dinner. That's right. You eat it at any time you want. Right. Oh, and one more thing. I can't wait to ride the train here. I am looking forward to its opening. It's, it's been something that's been on the list. I've never ridden the train here at Magic Kingdom, and I want to do it really, really bad. So looking forward to not just Tron's opening next year, but the railroad as well. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's video from Magic Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos from Walt Disney World or Universal Studios or a bunch of your other favorite theme parks, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Be sure to follow that because I post updates there that I don't normally post here on the channel. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.